In medicine, it's easy to come up with good ideas. It's harder to prove that those good ideas actually work. The only way to continue to move forward with this is to make sure that we continue to promote good science. And for me, and one of the things that I, I, I did speak about today is that, uh, you know, good science takes time. Good science is not always the thing that happens the quickest. Um, good science requires resources. The community around this now is sophisticated enough, I think, where we can really start to do some incredible things and, and, and learn a lot that, um, you know, we've only at this point been able uh, to pose questions about. The talk that I gave today was, I, I really did try to gear it specifically towards this audience. Um, it contrasts with talks that I would give, say, in other environments where really what I'm trying to do is to shine a light on all the interesting science that there is behind uh, energy and metabolism, the ketogenic diet specifically, and how that relates to cancer and specifically for my field, for, for, for patients with brain tumors. But what I wanted to emphasize for this particular audience is how important it is, uh, again, to make sure that we're not just guessing at things, that we're not just saying, oh, okay, hey, try this, and if you feel better, great, that means that it works. You know, the way that we have to move forward is to study things really rigorously. And uh, the best way to do that is to move forward with um, prospective clinical trials. That's really where we get the evidence to prove that something works or doesn't work.